Look to the people of age and of youth. Such a history of wisdom, of honor and truth. Lots of people think Canada started when the first immigrants moved to Canada, but there is great oral history from the indigenous people going back to creation. They come to the drum, it's the heartbeat of earth. They know its value, assured of its worth. The drum represents our hearts and Mother Earth's heart. You are only allowed to sit at the drum if you are living in a good and honorable way. There is the music of story and chant, songs from the heart and songs from the dance. Some people think chants and pow songs are all similar, but each song has its own style and meaning. Dances of meaning, movements of life, of wonder and family, free from all strife. Every indigenous community has its own style of dancing. Dancing is not only fun, but also spiritual. Every step of the dance is like a prayer. Patterns and symbols and color of pattern. Like the blues of the sky and the greens of the ground. Their traditional clothing is called regalia, which means special dress or ceremonial clothes. You can often tell when someone is from by looking at their clothes. Now well, is a time to gather and meet, to sing and remember, to dance and to eat. Food is a central part of any First Nations celebration or gathering. A favorite food of Indigenous peoples of Canada is a fried bread called bannock. Temples too have a story to tell of nations and chiefs and families that dwell. Totem poles usually show animals or beings. They represent different clans, and the totem poles are a way of keeping a family's history. Important are stories to hear, to tell history, values, and humor as well. The indigenous stories are not written down, but are remembered and taught to each generation. The stories can be about history, warnings, or just plain fun. These are keepers of stories and tales. Respected and honored, their wisdom prevails. Indigenous people never use the term senior citizen. They use the word elder because it is a term of deep respect and honor. Elders have wisdom and advice that helps some people live good and happy lives. We use matter to help understand like the word indigenous, it means of the land. Canada's indigenous people are the First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. It is best to name people by their home nations such as the Six Second Nation. Indigenous people, each in their own way, have a name for Creator to speak and to pray. Sometimes called Great Spirit or Great Mystery, the Creator is remembered through prayer. Indigenous people are very spiritual and believe the land and animals are sacred and need to be cared for. We honor Creator by caring well for all of creation, shore to shore to shore. Saying Mother Earth is a way of saying the Earth takes care of us. Like a mother, she gives us water to drink and food to eat. She can also show her strength in the wind, rain, and snow, and deserves great respect. Imagine if there were an honor drum where all children gathered wherever they're from. Gathering around the drum in a good and honorable way to learn about Mother Earth or stories from an elder will keep the stories alive. To listen, respect, to learn, and to share. For this is the way to show that you care. Listening is a value of the indigenous peoples. It is a way of honoring one another. If you speak with an elder, they will often be silent after you speak. Their cause is thoughtful and shows active listening. Silence is, a power silence is powerful and it is a way to show respect. Imagine, Imagine if there were an honor drum. drum.